So, four completely different cars, but each one of them appealing to each one of us in its own special way. But what about the other end of the scale? Okay, uh, the cars from 2001, the, the ones we didn't like, yeah. the moose, the howlers. What do you reckon? Mm. Well, I went on the Citroen C5 launch earlier on this year, and I don't think I can think of a more awful, ugly car on the road. It's massive and it's just... It's a big boat, isn't it? It it's is. It's, and to drive, it's just so dull and bland. And then recently, I got into a Sia Ibiza TDI, and I thought I'd got into a light goods van. It was so raucous and, oh, it was unrefined. You get what you pay for. Unless, of course, you buy a Mercedes E55 AMG. Over 50 <laughs> you really grand. Don't like that I don't. Car. Over 50 grand. I want an interior. It's, it's tonic. It's no. spa. It's a, it's 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 a V8 square German. It's got no bits That's stuck it. on it. That's There's no, no mm. passion about it. I'm going to be cruel here and I feel dreadful doing this, but my howler of 2001 is the Kia Rio. Oh. Don't know it. It's a very cheap, rugged, practical little estate car. That's all it's supposed to be and that's all it is. And I just can't like it. Bless them. They're trying, but it's, it's horrible. Oh. Well, I've had quite a good year, actually, doing dream deals. I've been driving a lot of my dream motors. Look at him. He's positive. But one stinker that was lousy was the Fiat Punto R bath uh, that Glenda reviewed. Yeah. Uh, I had a go in that. Not good. Yeah. But apart from that, I don't think you get any stinkers these days.